Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 basic English punctuation rules. These are punctuation rules for American English. Let's get started. Okay, first, put a period at the end of a sentence. The most basic way to end a sentence in English is with a period, that little black dot. So make sure you always put one at the end of your sentences. This is the basic ending punctuation for any sentence in English that is not a question. Use a period. Okay, next, use a question mark at the end of a question. So when you write a question in English, you need to use a question mark, but only at the end. I know there are some languages, like in Spanish, for example, where a question mark or an upside down question mark appears at the beginning as well. We do not do this in English. We only use the question mark at the end of the sentence. So make sure when you write a question, you always put that question mark at the end only. Okay, number three, use an exclamation point to mark an exclamation. An exclamation is something that's said really loudly or it's something that's said with great surprise or with great shock. When you want to show this in your writing, use an exclamation mark or an exclamation point at the end of your sentence. If you're writing a super casual text, you can actually combine the exclamation mark and the question mark together to create a question and surprise at the same time. Like, really? Or is that true? This is how we can communicate both of those feelings in the same sentence with an exclamation point and a question mark together. But again, don't do this in your professional emails. This is for casual stuff only. Okay, the next tip. Use a comma when you connect two independent clauses with a coordinating conjunction. What does that mean? That means when you have two complete sentences and you're connecting them with a coordinating conjunction, a word like and, but, or, for, those words, you need to use a comma to do that. If this doesn't make any sense to you, that's okay. I made a video about this, so check that out to learn all the details. Okay, the next tip is use parentheses to show related but extra information. When you're writing and you want to give this kind of bonus information to your readers, you can do that with parentheses, these curved marks. But you need to make sure that when you open a parentheses, you use the first mark, you also need to finish your extra information with the closed parentheses mark. This is a really common punctuation related error that we see in text a lot. Sometimes people begin their bonus information and they have the open parentheses, but then they forget to add the closed one. So make sure when you're giving your readers some bonus information that you add both marks to show that. Okay, the next tip is to use ellipses to show when someone trails off in speech or they stop talking slowly. An ellipses is three little dots real close together in a row. It looks like three periods together, but they're kind of closer than periods, yeah? We use ellipses when we want to show that someone has stopped talking gradually, or when we want to say that someone is kind of trailing off in their speech. For example, if someone starts talking really loudly because they're excited about something, but then they have to turn down the volume of their voice because they're embarrassed or something, you can express that with ellipses in text. Like for example, I can't wait for the party this weekend. I'm just gonna... Okay, the next tip, when using quotation marks, put the punctuation of the dialogue inside the quotation marks. So that means your periods, your exclamation points, your question marks, and so on. You should only put your punctuation outside the quotation marks if that punctuation belongs to outside text. This is actually a key difference between British English and American English. There are British style guides that say that you should put your punctuation outside of the quotation marks. American style guides, on the other hand, say put it inside. As an American English speaker and editor, I always put it inside the quotation marks. So that's my recommendation for you as well. Okay, the next tip. If you need to use quotation marks inside quotation marks, don't use two quotation marks again. Use single quotation marks instead. You might see this or you might need to do this if a character in a story is talking about something that someone else said. For example, you might find a sentence something like, Sarah said, I can't believe that Joe said, I don't like you anymore. In that situation, I don't like you anymore, Joe's words would take single quotation mark punctuation, but Sarah's words would take double quotation mark. So that's what you should do if you need to do the same thing in your writing. Okay, the next tip. Make sure you do not use apostrophes to make words plural. We use apostrophes to show possession or to show missing letters. There are actually quite a few rules related to using apostrophes, so if you're not sure or if you need a refresher, I've made a video all about it. You can check out all of the details there. 
Okay, the last super quick tip is to make sure when you use a currency marker to place the currency marker before the number, not after. So for example, if you wanted to write $1, you would put the dollar sign before the number one. In speech, we say one dollar, right? So it feels natural to write the number followed by the currency marker. However, in writing, we put the marker before the number, not after. Make sure you do this in your writing too. Awesome, so those are 10 basic English punctuation rules for American English. I hope you learned everything you need to know to start creating beautifully punctuated paragraphs and sentences. If this video was helpful for you, you can help me by hitting the like button and sharing this video with all of your punctuation misusing friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more writing, punctuation, and spelling tips. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you again soon. Bye! 10 basic English punctuation rules. 10 basic punctuation rules. That's what I said. Okay. Uh, what? Use ellipses. 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 To show that someone trailed off in speech.